Here at ASB we decided to do a little training video to show you how we store ribbon in our inside uh, fiber boxes. So we've got several boxes actually. Some are demarcation boxes, some are splice boxes. This just shows you an example, a quick example of some of the different sizes. This is our LFD product line or commonly called FIDB. But we have a 24, a 48, 72 versions. These are SC UPC. Another version with SCAPC, same sizes. We also have a collector version for a little bit different application with more cables coming in, but the same basic layout with our ribbons. And we also have fiber splice boxes, or sometimes called FSTs. So that's actually what we're going to show today. We've got two sizes of this box, an A and a D. So we've got an A version of that box, and we this is a ribbon optimized configuration is what we call it because the way we store ribbons is not in a tray but actually in the box itself using bend controls and fiber clips makes for a very efficient and neat and quick installation so in this case we brought our cables into the bottom ports uh, on the right we have an incoming signal our core tube is transitioned up around the outside a nice generous bend and it's attached to the bottom of the bend control here. Same thing with our outgoing cable on the left. It circles around in a mirror image of the other cable around and it's again secured to the bottom of the bend control. Now at this point this is where you take a measurement for the length of fibers. Now if instead of coming in the bottom port you came into the top port. I cut a little piece of cable here just to show how that would look but this would protrude about this far so the end of the core tube would pretty much match up with a lower port cable but basically from this point or this point you measure your length of ribbon needed according to the instructions cut those to length clean them up and make your splices so in this case we've already made our splices but it's important prior to doing that is make sure you take the twist out of your ribbon so all the twists have been taken out and our splices have been made. So you can see in this small FSB box, we have three cradle adapters. So each cradle, which is what we're showing here, holds four ribbons. So that's 48 count, right? So 48 times three, we've got a 144 count in this box, capacity for ribbon. So here's how we store it. We first take the first um, cradle and we we want to create some loops in this box. The way we do that is just cross it over. So we got our ribbons crossed, creating our loops, and we're going to click it in. We're going to do the same thing with every cradle that you have. In this case, I'm flipping it to the left, and I click it in. Now, the bottom of the cradle adapter has little clips here that are going to match up with our tabs on our cradle. So basically, we just lower it into place on the bottom. And on the top, we're just going to click it in here. And that holds our cradles in place. So then we're going to take our ribbon loops, <clears throat> which are already kind of twisting in this direction. Remember, step one, we twisted left. Step two, we're going to twist right. And it doesn't matter if you go left then right or right then left. It really doesn't matter. So again, we're creating a cross. And we're going to lay our loops over the bend controls. So here are our bend controls at the top. We want to make sure we're under these tabs. So we're just going to put it right under the tab like that. Under all the bend controls. Okay. Then we're going to take all our ribbons on the right side. And we're just going to lay them over and slide them into our fiber clips. First at the top. And then at the bottom. Then we're going to do the left side the same way. Make sure that you have all your ribbons. So we're going to do the same here. Lay it over, slide those in at the bottom. Some of my ribbons have already gone into the clip. That's okay. <clears throat> Make sure they're behind the bend controls. So everything's nice and organized. So now we're going to put, we're going to install two tie wraps to ensure that your ribbons stay in place. So we're going to secure the, we're going to group actually the top ribbons and we're going to secure them around this point on the bend control. We're not going to include the ribbons below because they're already attached. So we'll just go under like this. 
and get the tie wrap started. And then we're going to move it up. You can see where to position it here. And all the ribbons are contained. You shouldn't put any pressure on any of the ribbons. So we're really just grouping those into position. Do the same thing on the left. Get started. Slide this up. Make sure everything's clear. Tighten it. Then we're going to move the excess. Double check everything, make sure everything's in the loops. And there, you've stored in this case um, eight ribbons. Of course, you've got three more, but that's how quick and easy it is to for the ribbon optimized ASB method. Mm -hmm.